he could be the one is a pop song by American recording artist and actress Miley Cyrus, performing as Hannah Montana, the alter ego of Miley Stewart, a character she played on the Disney Channel television series Hannah Montana. The song was co-written and co-produced by Cara Diaguardi and Mae Challen. He Could Be The One was released to Radio Disney on June 12, 2009 as promotion for an episode of the same title in the series' third soundtrack, Hannah Montana 3. A karaoke version is available in Disney's karaoke series, Hannah Montana 3. The song contains country rock elements in its music. The song became Cyrus' best charting song as Montana, reaching the top 20 in Norway and the United States. He Could Be The One peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 thus becoming Cyrus' first and only top 10 single as Montana. The song's accompanying music video was arranged from clips from various Hannah Montana episodes. It is also featured in Disney's Have a Laugh's remix musical segment. He Could Be the One was co-written by Cara Diaguardi, who composed a total of four songs on Hannah Montana 3, and Mae Challen, who composed a total of two songs on the album. A karaoke version is available in Disney's karaoke series, Hannah Montana 3. The song premiered on Radio Disney on June 12, 2009 in order to promote the soundtrack in an episode from Hannah Montana with the same title. He Could Be The One is a song with a length of three minutes. According to Warren Truett of About.com noted its country music elements with fizzy pop rock. The song is set in common time and has a moderate tempo of 132 beats per minute. It is written in the key of E major and Cyrus vocals span two octaves from B3 to D6. Truett described Cyrus' vocals to be with a slight twang and husky. The lyrics of He Could Be The One, according to him, about a special crush. Warren Truett of About.com was immediately reminded of Shania Twain after listening to He Could Be The One due to its music and Cyrus' voice in the track. Throw in a little Gwen Stefani, Joan Jett, and Avril Lavigne, produce it with some, Radio Disney, Truett added about the song's influences. Truett later listed the song as the seventh best song by Hannah Montana. As it was not released as a single, he could be the one received exclusive airplay on Radio Disney, thus its chart appearances consisted mainly of digital downloads. It soon peaked at number two on the Top 30 Countdown, behind Here We Go Again by Demi Lovato. The song debuted at number two on Billboard's Hot Digital Songs chart, selling 150,000 copies, which led to an appearance on the Billboard Hot 100. On the week ending July 25, 2009, he could be the one debuted and peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, thus making the song Montana's highest charting effort, surpassing her previous best charting effort Life's What You Make It, which peaked at number 25 in July 2007. It became Cyrus' first and only song to chart in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 as Hannah Montana. It spent a total of five weeks on the chart. The song debuted and peaked at number 97 on the Canadian Hot 100, spending one week on the chart. He could be the one peaked at number 64 on the Australian Singles Chart, becoming Cyrus' best charting effort as Hannah Montana in Australia. On the week ending January 5, 2010, he could be the one debuted and peaked at number 13 on the Norwegian Singles Chart, becoming Cyrus' first entry as Montana in the country. It fell from the Norwegian Singles Chart in the following week. The song's accompanying music video premiered on June 12, 2009 on Disney Channel. The video begins with a narrator speaking, who says, Boyfriends, one's a heartbreaker. One's got a lot of heart. Miley Stewart wants to know who could be the one, as American actors Cody Lindley and Drew Roy are introduced. In the episode He Could Be the One, Lindley portrays Jake Ryan, Stewart's longtime love interest and ex-boyfriend, and Roy portrays Jesse a guitar player who she eventually becomes attracted to. Stewart is then seen holding a pair of photographs of the two, in confusion. Throughout the remainder of the video, clips from numerous episodes from Hannah Montana are integrated. The video concludes with a scene of Stewart grunting as she again holds the photographs and slams herself against a bed. References <laughs> 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 <laughs>